Hello everyone, it's me ASA Marif welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll provide you a preset and I'll provide you the process of making this type of photo to this. So here uh, thanks for the photo Joita Frin. Uh, she just given me this type of photographs for editing and the tutorial purpose. And here the raw or the non-edited image was like that. Light is coming from the right side and the shadow in a face and uh, actually this phase was uh, some uh, spots i removed the spots and after that i add a preset like that and uh, got the result like this hope that all are in a safe place and uh, stay at home don't go outside stay safe from the covid 19. let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications if i go to the home panel here was the main image was like that so in this photo in this panel you are getting that the raw image was like that this one is the raw image uh, in a canon uh, 6 eos 6d so in this panel you are getting some spots in a face you have to remove that at first and uh, here are no spots another okay fine here is a spot healing brush tool or healing brush tool go to that and uh, size will be a little bit bigger and feather will be a little bit like that so like this you can control the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing select once it will take the pixel from the other side and it will be fill up here and the photoshop ai will work with that it will take the pixel from the non-affected area non-spot area and uh, it will fill up in your uh, like affected area or spot area in this panel here you have to give time to remove the spots and it will be more helpful to make your portrait uh, more like uh, precisely smooth and uh, nice so like that here this portion you can uh, take help by the visual spots select here you'll get the visual spots in this portion okay and then i'm turning it off that's fine and all the thing is good and after that go to the hand tool here and now go to the open image okay fine press ctrl or command j you will get another copy and go to the filter and portraiture 3 this portraiture 3 is a plugins of the photoshop or other lightrooms and if you want to get the download link of this paid version please check out my video description here if i make it zoom then you are getting the structure and other stuffs like that and here i make the setup like this so i had a preset that was the my preset you can use that so this my preset i made the settings like that uh, plus 17 for the fine and uh, 19 for the medium and uh, large for the 20 threshold 40 and smoothing 85 percent and uh, portrait uh, that is the auto i make it like that and here the feathering 69 opacity 100 percent fuzziness 100 percent and the hue 86 percent saturation 24 percent luminance 35 percent and the latitude that is 100 percent unmask that is 97 percent and sharpness 40 and soften 9 9 only 9 uh, warm minus 3 that's why this one is a little bit cool type and brightness 10 and the contrast plus 3 and from here hit the ok button you will get a smooth skin before and after if i make it zoom here before and after and now time to add the preset go to the filter again and go to the camera filter from here go to the load settings options and here is urban 6 this xmp file and load it up you can use that xmp file in your lightroom as well so if you want to get the process how to add the xmp file in a lightroom i have another detailed video i'll just give you that video detail link in my video description 
from this panel you have to adjust the light a little bit if you want uh, here uh, whites or highlights which one you do prefer to add this type of photo so that's good and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and you are getting before one and after one and after that if you want to add another uh, like uh, filters and presets uh, you have to go to the nick collection into color effects pro 4 in a nick collection you are getting bunch of presets and filters over there if you want to get the download link of the nick collection please check out my video description i am using the cross processing this one is my favorite one and lots of method over here which method do you want to apply in your photograph and you have to choose that out suppose this one this one i do like to use this one l03 and the uh, strength i'll make the strength 23 is good for this photo and i don't know which one is your preference you can use that uh, higher or the lower percentage for your photographs and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and provide you the final output which is amazing than the before one so if you have the like um, the difficulties to process the photo which one was this type of shadow and uh, like that you can follow my process and you will get this type of result and hope that you learn a lot from this video thank you so much if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section if you want to get the download link the plugins and uh, other uh, resources please check out my video description until the next video i am asmr signing out today stay at home and don't go outside bye bye